Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and today we are going to allow a user to create a new account in this Android e-commerce app just like Amazon and AliExpress. So in the previous tutorial we have created and designed our register activity and we have all these uh, controllers and then we also initialize these fields or you can say we give reference according to their IDs. So what I am going to do is now what next is that whenever a user click on this create account button then we should get the name, password and phone number. So what we gonna do is create account button dot set on click listener new on click listener and then here here we are going to uh, call a method which we will create now and it is by the name create account. So let's create this and here inside this method first we are going to uh, get the input from the phone i mean the phone password name and we have to store it inside sync type variable so the first one is the phone or let's get the name first i mean it doesn't matter whatever you write first input name dot get text dot to string let's copy paste this Then we have phone and make sure to change this to input phone number and then we have password and make sure to change this to input password and after that we have to check if any one of if any of these is empty or not so we can say text utils dot is empty so if the name is empty we can just uh, give a toast message in a toast message we will tell the user to please write uh, his name please write your name and let's copy paste this for the remaining ones then we copy paste this twice this one is for the phone now so we can say else if and this one also to else if and this one is for the phone and this one for the password make sure to change this to please write your phone number and then this one is the password so we can say please write your password and the last thing is if everything is ok then we will store the data in firebase database we need to add a, a progress dialog first so let's create this so here we can say private dialog sorry it is by the name progress dialog okay not the dialog box I just let's call it as loading bar and then here in the on create view progress dialog new progress dialog this and then here in the else statement first of all we have to display the title and the title will be create account and then we have to set the message please wait while we are checking the credentials and yeah now the next thing is to set on set cancel on touch outside so if the user click on the screen then this dialog box will not disappear until it complete the process okay so we can say loading bar dot show and once we do that then what we are gonna do is to validate first the phone number that is either this phone number is already available in the database or you can say if anyone is already using this phone number or not okay so we will check that and if this is if this phone number is not available in the database then we will create a new account using this phone number for a new user so we can simply create a method here where we will basically first validate the phone number and then we will uh, create a new account or we can say store the data in the firebase database so we can just give it a name and let's say validate phone number we are calling that method here and we have to uh, now create this method so the first parameter it will need its name then the phone number which is stored inside the string type variable phone okay and then we have password so we can set comma password 
now let's create this method and now inside this method first we need to create a database reference so it is will be by name okay first of all we need to add the dependency for the firebase database so go to the build.gradle module app and here you can see we have this uh, implementation com google firebase firebase core 16.0.1 you can simply copy this dependency and paste it in the next line and all you're gonna need is to change this core to database so change this to database and then you can simply click on sync now so then we will be able to use the firebase database so now go back to the register activity and now here we can say final database reference and the name of this reference will be root reference from the root we are going to do it so we can say root ref equals to firebase database sorry for that get instance get reference so this is the reference to the root and now first we have to validate first let me complete this okay then I will explain everything at the end okay all this code which I am writing here okay so let's do that add add listener for single value event new value event listener and now here inside first we are going to check if the users node that we will create now if that contain the phone number or not since we will uh, store the data of every user using their phone number I mean the phone number will be the first key or you can say the unique ID for each user put two braces again and then here we can say data snapshot dot child the child will be the users node if it contains the phone number which is stored inside this phone variable if this exists in the database then it basically means that this user already exists and you can't create a new account with this phone number so first we have to uh, add here the exclamation marks which means if not okay so if this phone number not exists then we will uh, add a, uh, we will create a new account but in the else statement if this exists then we will just tell the user that this phone number already exists so let's do that so first here I'm going to write a toast message and inside this we can say this use this concatenation and sign plus and then we are going to display this phone number that is this phone number and then again this phone number already exists then we are going to dismiss the loading bar and then we can if you want you can uh, give a suggestion to the user using this toast message again and that will be please try again using another phone number and yeah that's it and in that case if you want you can also send the user to the main activity so for the time saying I'm just going to the main activity and from here I'm just copying this intent and let's come back to the register activity and pass that here and what we're gonna do is we are going to send the user from the register activity to the main activity and then we start the activity for the intent and what if the phone not exist it means that this user is going to create another account and we are going to create a new account for this person so first we have to get the data and we have to store it inside the firebase database so we can use the hash map so you can say string comma object let's give it a name as user data map equals to new hash map make sure to put a semicolon here and by using the user data map we are going to put data inside the firebase database so the first one is the phone and the value is stored inside this phone variable let's copy paste this three times more so then we have a password and then we have name 
the password is stored inside the password variable and the name is stored inside the name variable now by using the root ref inside the root i mean we are going to create a parent node for all the users so we can say users dot child user dot child now for every user data will be inside uh, his phone number okay i will show you and i will also explain it further when we run the app okay you will see it how it works basically and then we are going to update the children with the user data map and then we are going to say dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here first and if the task is successful then we are going to tell the user i mean to display a toast message that is congratulations your account has been created and then we are going to dismiss the loading bar first and once the account is created successfully then we will send the user to the login activity now to log in into his account so what i'm going to do i will go to the main activity and i can copy this intent code from here and i will just paste it here and we are going to send the user from the register activity to the login activity and start activity for the intent and what if any error occur and the account has not created at that time let's say for any internet issue or anything if the network goes suddenly so we can just uh, display the toast message to the user that is network error please try again or you can display any message you want okay so yeah that's it and in that case we also have to dismiss the loading bar and yeah now let's run the app and go to your firebase project and here we have our inside the database as you know that we have a real-time database click on this create database start in test mode okay make sure to enable this and here it goes okay so make sure to enable this uh, just like i did here okay in this video and now we are going to test it so our app is running now successfully and now we can go to the join now let me write my phone number uh, sorry my name and the input type for the name is uh, numbers so first of all let's go back to the android studio and make sure to change on the activity register.xml file here you can see we have this user input okay and the input type for this is make sure to change this to text okay so once you change it to text run again the app our app is running now let's go to the join now and here i'm going to write my name mohammed ali and then the phone number so and then the password and now let's create account so you can see create account please wait while we are and here we go congratulations your account has been created and it sends us to the login activity and here you can see this is the parent node which contain all the users okay and under that we have by using the phone number we are storing the uh, whole data of a user so this is basically you can say the unique user id just like we did uh, for the authentication process so in this app we will store the data by using the uh, unique phone number of a user okay let me uh, try it i mean i'm going to type this same number here again and i'm trying to create another account by this phone number okay so let's say the other user is let's say Helen musk and then if i click on create account then here you can see it this phone number already exists please try again using another phone number so you cannot create a, a, phone, a, a new account by using the other user phone number and now let's create another account for uh, other users let's say mohammed ali share which is our php developer okay i hope some of you guys may know him he is the web developer and he make the web projects on encoding uh, cafe i mean all our web projects is created by him so now let's type the phone number and then the password and then let's create account please wait and here we go the other one okay 
so name password and full so yeah everything is fine now it is working amazing i mean this is perfect so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will start work on the uh, login uh, activity where we will allow a user to log in into the app and once we do that then we will start work on the admin so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account and see you guys in the next video take care of yourself and bye for now